Oh, you're back. Sorry, I didn't see you there. I was too busy on my uh, my mobile device deleting these 15 scam messages I got. You know, like, there's a new record every now and then where I'm just recording and I get a bunch of notifications. But the thing is, is that I don't have friends, okay? I have one friend and that's it. So I don't get text messages or calls from anybody, like of any kind, not from a group, not from like Discord, not from like anybody basically. And uh, like these scam messages that try to hit you up by saying like, hey, you wanna hang out? Or, um, you know, oh, your bank's calling you and that stuff. It's like, trust me, ain't nobody calling me for anything because I don't leave my house for this, for any of this shit. I am the wrong demographic. You can never get me. Cause I am never around. Alright, Kodomato, let's finish you off. He dragged you here? How? He bite my collar or something? Arf! He ran off behind the shrine. He returned with something in his teeth. Looking up at you with big eyes. He took what he was holding. Obtained dirty collar. Are you giving me this? Is this yours? Woof! He's wagging his tail. It seems he wants you to hold on to it. I'll cherish it. He's happily running around in circles. What a collar. You, oh, oh, I thought she said, want me to wear this and be like, damn, FMC. Let's go. Uh, am I your master? Yes, and you will give me souls. Hmm. He's shaking his head. I can hold on to it. He answered energetically. Will you stick with me? Wagging his tail. Looking straight at you with his big eyes. This must be his resolution. He will follow you for sure. No matter where that might lead. Well no that's not true. Why didn't he show up um, when Ikutsuki abducted all of us and save us? Kodomaru you could have. You could have done some nasty shit. You know you could have. You could have killed Ikutsuki with your, um, with your blade and just saved us all. Then Mitsuru's dad wouldn't have died and, and you know what? Maybe we would have got a happy ending. Well, the fall would have still happened, but you know, whatever. That's how you feel. That's right. We could have had an alt ending where Kodomaru kills Ikutsuki because I guess never abducted him. And then, uh, we're all good. But I guess we can't have nice things. I don't know why I keep finding plot breaks, or maybe I'm just psychotic enough to think that these things can happen. But it's an old game, so it's whatever. I'm not expecting, not expecting some interrogation room level of five head plays like in Persona Five. That shit was already crazy. It took me a while to wrap my head around that one. Siegfried, all right. He's running around the shrine while wagging his tail. Decide to play with them a little here. Alright. That's another one bites the dust. There's my box. Morning. I heard Mitsuru Senpai is coming back today. Glad to hear it. I guess so. Yoto's soon too, right? I'm sure she's kind of feeling down. I don't blame her, of course. I'm gonna check up on my quest real quick. Who is it? Baby, alright. Sorry, baby. You'll have the privilege of being the last person I hang out with. And the OG is gonna get started too, so. Yeah. Akiko will max out though next time, which is good. Then I can fully focus on Yukari so I can get ready to. Like, get ready for the last batch of uh, social links, which will be. Ryoji, Aegis, and Mitsuru. Probably want to focus with Ryoji. I'm pretty sure he's going to be like Kenji. Or sorry, not Kenji. I mean, uh, Jinji. Where he auto-levels up. Oh my god, Saudi, I miss you. You are such a great Link. And you do not deserve anything that happened to you here. Ken is rank 7. Okay. Ken, I'm not even concerned anymore, because he... He's my only nighttime. So yeah. My job is to finish up Yukari and Akihiko. 
Speaking of, it's Tuesday, so he won't be here. Anything to say about the new student? The girls can't seem to talk about anything but the transfer student lately. Honestly, I don't really care. I've only ever had eyes for Akihiko. Well, you're just as loyal as that Mitsudu girl. It must suck to move here from another country. You're always the center of attention. But Yoji seems to be enjoying it. He does seem to be. Yoji seems a little different. He's got an exotic face. No Japanese guy would ever look like that. I should hang out with him some weekend and get some fashion tips. Why don't you ask me for fashion tips, huh? You see my drip? I hate this. I don't want to see Mitsudu so depressed. If I have anything I can do, I'd do it at once. Even though I can't do much, I'll put my all into supporting you. That's what I wish I could bring myself to say to her face. But instead, all I do is stare at this wall. I'm such a loser. Maybe I'll be a protagonist in my next life. Okay, <laughs> calm down. Class F's Hariyoshi is so hot. I think he's teasing us. I don't want to get played by him. Well, if you play with death, you're going to get dead. Uh, Ryoji from Classroom F's parents are on vacation or something. Same old, alright. Oh, Hidetoshi. Still looking for the smoker, okay. Don't think there's anything new. Right then. Well, I'll see if I can hang out with Ryoji, although he doesn't have an exclamation mark, so I don't think so. By the way, I heard it's almost time for the school trip. I'm excited already. What about you, FemC? I'm totally psyched. Let's do lots of sightseeing over there. Just the two of us, of course. A Kyoto date. Wow, look at me going on a date with myself. I mean, technically the truth. Alright. Um, I just want to see real quick, because it's been a day that I haven't recorded. I know, right? A day and I've already forgotten everything. The 12th. Okay, the 12th and the 21st. Which is in two days. Got it. And I can't do anyone because Yukari isn't there and Akihiko is not there either. And I can't do student council either. Okay, baby, you do get your wish. Here you go. Congratulations, baby. Uh, where are we? There we go. Alright, who are you waiting? You're waiting for your boyfriend, right? More skincare products? Oh my god. Your boyfriend's gonna be flipping broke by the time, uh... Bought all those skincare products. There was a convention that was happening. Uh, it was for this company called Estee Lauder. And um, I was talking to one of the girls, because, you know, obviously it's the demographic is girls, right? And um, one of these girls was saying, yeah, I just spent like $450 and, and on like four items. I was like, hold on, man, what? I was like, that's kind of how much like a scale figure costs. So I, she showed me her products and it was this tiny ass bottle that was two hundred and sixty dollars. I was like, "Damn, two sixty for a bottle!" And it was like some sort of, um, some sort of like condi like conditioning or whatever, like for your complexion or whatever. And um, I was like, "Wow, how is that so expensive? You know, like can't you buy cheaper?" I, buy, I guess you know it's the brand and all that. But um, yeah, I was genuinely surprised at how costly skincare products can get. I never thought that. Maybe I should get into the skincare business. That's my uh, that's my Monokuma theater for the day. Alright. Do we call it today? You look down. You look down, my Tomodachi. You can tell something is wrong. You seem surprised. Um, last night, my dear aunt was taken away by the angels. What do you mean? MC. He started to cry. So sorry, Gomen Asai. She was the reason I was able to come to Japan. And now she has been taken away. She helped me so much and I cannot do anything for her. I was holding this inside because I know that crying will not help. But seeing the look on your face, FemC, I... He seems devastated by his loss. He has confided in you. It's playing out the same way, got it. Sorry, Roman aside, I cannot work today. Well, Genki Dene. 
You better take that to heart, Mr. Genki. Greetings. Greetings. You're supposed to say Genki Dene. Mitsuru san has just returned to the dorm. He looked really tired. He went straight to her dorm without saying a word. Are you worried? Oh, she'll be fine. I hope so. Damn right. Okay, Kodomaru no longer needs to go for walks. I oh, we can go to Tartarus? Just Mitsuru can't go. Alright. What was his name? Yoji. Yoji Mochizuki. Yes, that's it. I saw him in the hallway. It's very strange. Very strange. He's still bummed. Guess she needs more time. I don't like how Yoji hits on all the girls. Well, he's pretty good looking, so a lot of them probably don't mind. Unlike Junpei, who couldn't get a girl if he was the last guy on the planet. I heard that, Yukatan. How dare you say something like that about this hunk of burning love. Hunk of what? Man, that Ryoji sure is cool, but all the girls loving him. I'm glad I finally have a rival that can stand up to my good looks. Make sure Yukari doesn't hear that. I don't know exactly what though. Gotcha. I want to head to my room first because I just want to check when is the Kyoto trip. Oh great, it's not even listed. And obviously it's not in December. Yeah. God damn it. I don't know when the Kyoto trip is. I forgot. I forgore. Um, alright. Well, it doesn't matter. Let's hang out with Ken today. What's the matter, Femsi? Let's do it. Please rank up. It's been two dinners. You stepped out to go get dinner. Why don't you choose where we go tonight, Femsi? Anywhere you want. I'll pay. Huh? Ken? Oh? Ah. Oh, he's one of my classmates. A boy about Ken's height walks by. What are you doing? Uh, nothing. I'm just about to go to dinner. Is this your sister? Huh? Oh, n no! What are you getting mad at me for? Because... I'm not her younger brother. Femc is... She's my... All silent with a troubled look on his face. We're friends, right? That's so weird. What's so weird? I mean, he's way older than you. Shut up. Don't be ridiculous. Stupid. Your face is stupid and got him. Dumbass. Ag. Oh shit, you, you, you calling me a hag? Get the fuck over here, kid. Persona. Ken's classmate runs off. Just call you a hag? Yeah, he did. MC, you're a little slow on the uptake, okay? That's when you pull up the Naginata and you give him the old backflip cr <laughs> crit. Um, I'm sorry he said that stuff. Sorry. We'll get him back later. He's just a kid. No, he doesn't want to hear that, because then he'll socially compare himself. We'll get him back later. Okay. He hangs his head low. You and me are nowhere close to each other's ages. I know that already. That's a fact that can't be changed. So, why are you bothering with a kid like me, FMC? The guys at the dorm are older than me. And you have lots of friends, right? Then why me? He looks downward. He has a serious expression. You must be honest with them. Hey, FemC, straight to jail if you choose this. Don't do it. Don't do it. Do not press this button. It's because I like you. Oh wow, wait, what? We can romance Ken, but we can't romance Jun- I mean, that makes sense, obviously, but yeah. I can't romance Kodomaru? That's crazy. You know, it's not just man's best friend, it's a woman's best friend too. That's right. I'm not gonna romance Ken though, because I don't really see him that way. I thought I was gonna be like his mom, like Miki. I thought he looked up to me like that. But this is like Maiko, so I don't really find this weird. I know some people, oh god, some people are definitely gonna find this weird. Like, what, you romance Ken? I'm like, no, it's fine, he's a kid, obviously. It's like having a crush on your teacher, or whatever. Students do that all the time. 
whatever. Uh, I don't take it seriously. You're a special friend. MC. You call me your friend. I'm a special friend too. Even though I'm just a kid. I can't be there for you like everyone else. And you still. Thanks. You're very kind after all. I really look up to you. You're so kind and strong. I want to be more like you. He smiles. Sense a strong bond. My boy's all ranked up. Oh, forgot that I had homework. I'm sorry. I'll just get something quick to eat and go up to my room today. Well then. His face has turned bright red. Ran off. Alright. Well shit, since the romance is optional in this playthrough, unlike the male MC who literally rizzes every single girl without uh without an option. Um, I guess I'll just stick with Akihiko. Yeah. Would I have romance Shinji? I don't know. I feel like Shinji would be a great romance option too. But yeah, I think Shinji and Akihiko are probably the two solid candidates. I don't know if you can romance Hide, Toshi, and Bebe, because I haven't maxed them out yet, but maybe there is. I don't know, though. Can I romance Igus as the female? <laughs> I'm into robots, too. Alright. Oh yeah, I did. The Oji, right? He's kind of handsome. And rich. I'm going for him for real this time. That's not fair. I called dibs. Girls need to get your ass to class. Oh, baby, okay. Go we'll rank up again, good. Good to know. Because it actually might be another baby day, because no one shows up in class. Like, where are you guys? You're never here. The OG's not here either, so... I don't even know what days I can hang out with him. Yeah. No Yukari. Ken is rank 8, so that is all good. The OG. Grants for a student who feels like he can get along with you. Got it. Odomaru. Dorm mate with you formed a strong body. I like how it says dorm mate, not dog. Very intelligent dog, though. Alright, and he's rank 4. Alright, baby. Let's go. The GekuCon? Oh, it's 11-11. It's the day Skyrim was released. Well, not, well, two years from now it will be. What shall we make today? I have a sewing book here. He's making a heavy face. It may be best to work with him without asking any questions. He's pointing to a how-to on making a cute bag. Decided to try and make one. It is a lovely color. My art is... It feels so cleansed. MC, you have Subarashi, a wonderful sense. He's trying to tell you something. While you wait for a chance to ask about it, you've finished your project. It is so lovely. Everyone will be Uriya Urayamashi, jealous. Obtained felt bag. Could give this to someone while on a date. I want to go somewhere to eat after Z. Sure. Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you very much. There is something I need to talk to you about. Decide to go to a restaurant with Bebe. Oh god, here. I'm afraid I might have to go back home. I was able to come here because of my aunt, but my uncle did not agree with his decision. He is yelling at me to come home now like the Mafia. If I go home, my uncle might never let me return here. Stay here. I would love to say stay in Niho. This country is where I want to live and die. Seems excited. No matter how hard I try to convince him, he will not listen. I have got to know you well, MC. I cannot say Genki Dene like this. He shared, your, he shared his troubles that are on his mind. Your relation is Genki Dene. Rank 5. Oh shit, well, I'll see him at school. I forgot that pressing the Hello? Y button like goes sicko mode on the dialogue. Oh, he wants to go. Nope. You, you don't get any more hangouts, dog. You tested my patients for too long. Doctors are working multiple shifts due to the number of patients. 
for some doctors succumbing to apathy syndrome themselves, the situation is worsening. Alright. Mitsuru is still down for the count. I lost a parent, but I know how Mitsuru Senpai feels. I don't exactly know how I got over it, but I still remember how I shut myself away from the world. Those were dark days. Dark days indeed. Right? Okay. I could head to Tartarus, but. Nah. It's too early. More people are gonna go missing. Even though it's a half moon. Should wait at least one more week. And the Kyoto trip, I have no idea when that's happening. Well, MC? Ryoji is waving to you. Haven't seen this sight for a while. Good morning. What a coincidence. Some people might call it destiny. Look, the sun shining uh, off the ocean beautifully. This view really lifts my spirits. I think I understand. Huh? Really? I'm glad to hear that. I thought that the world was being especially dazzling today. Would that be because you're standing here, next to me? He laughs pleasantly. Oh, I got points for that? Nice. Oh, we're almost at school already. That's a shame. Is school fun? Yeah, a lot of fun. Seems happy. You know, it's probably because I, I know I can see you there. Everything's glimmering there, just like this ocean. You laugh so easily. You feel like you understand him a little better. Oh, nice. You auto rank up. That is very nice. I am very happy for that, because then I can focus on Mitsuru once I get back from Kyoto. Over here. Hope today turns out to be fun. Every day is fun. But you know what would make it better? If Akihiko was actually in his location, ready to rank up. What is the ancient Indian magic text? Um, it was the... Yeah. Don't I remember this? The Upanshi... The, Manhab, the Manhabharatas. Wrong. Damn it. I don't remember that one for some reason. Usually I kind of know the syntax to pull me through, but... This time I didn't. Sometimes I start heading to the hospital without even realizing it. Today was one of those days. Chidori. Why'd she... Yeah. He's giving you the... The frozen shoulder. Sounds like an, an attack move. Oh, it's Thursday. Crap. Yeah, that's kind of like a flex day, because I don't have anything to do on Thursday. God damn it. Why is it so hard to find my seats members? Alright, well, since I can't do anything about it, I will just get a shrine reading. I gotta get that item today too from one of my dorm mates. Yep. Hey, I think I'll get one for... So now that I know Ryoji auto levels, let's get one for Akihiko. So for sure he ranks up, just in case. I'm pretty sure he will already, because I told him that I liked him. But now he's like super pumped, and I'm his girlfriend. Wow. All right, today's Cantonese word is Chinyan. Make a heart with your hands and say it. Chinyan means lover. If you catch apathy syndrome, you won't be Chinyan anymore. It doesn't even make any sense. What? Okay. Let's do it. Come on, Gin. Rank up. Please. I don't think so. Nope. No rank up. God damn it. Ken, you're a fat ass. I can't keep treating you to this meal. Ken's the type of guy that gets like an extra order of milk and grow taller. The Kyoto trip is almost there. I don't care how much about shrines, but I'm still excited about it. Me too. I want to see deers. Deers and deers. Just deers, huh? Wait, you're thinking of Nada. First bell is around. Deers, huh? I, I know nothing about Japanese bot. Oh, I can hang out with the OG. I see. So that was the proc. If you want, we could go somewhere after this. I want to spend time with you. I have a feeling the OG auto ranks up. So, yeah, I think I will do him. Oh my god. Horace, you... Your hangout is on a Friday. So you have to conflict with Yukari and Akihiko. Well, whatever. 
I guess I don't have a choice then. Wait! I fucked up. I forgot to get the item yesterday. Whoops. When did I last say? God fucking damn it. Alright. Wow, it's like I never... It's like I never even did anything this episode. Okay, hold on. Let me just... Let me just finish all this real quick. Because, um, yeah. Well, that's what happens when you make a silly decision with MC. The good thing about this, though, is that now that I know Ken can hang out at night, I'm going to get a shrine reading the next day to get that, uh... So I can hopefully rank Ken up that same night. If that makes any sense. You'll see what I mean here. I'll have to go through all this dialogue. Damn it. Same old, same old. Mitsudu is back, I know that. Be oh yeah, we're doing Bebe today. Right. Okay. And then there's... There's Ryoji. We do Bebe today. Nice. And then he talks about his aunt. I'm like, you look sad. Um, I'm like, what's going on? It's like, man, I gotta go back to Jap I gotta go back to Europe. You know, they need me in a King's Landing. Um, John Aaron died. They're asking me to become uh, the, the Hand of the King. Shit's not good, man. I can't keep doing this. Yeah. Then here's Ken. He will rank up, though. And this is the the day that he confesses to me, and I'm like, we're friends, right? And then I'm like, uh, it didn't bother me. And then it's because you're a special friend. Wow. Amazing. The good thing now is that I might be able to get him to 9, but that shrine reading, I'm hoping. And if not, then hanging out with him at night will push it so that uh, he will rank up the next time to 9 for sure. That's what I'm hoping on. Look at me. Totally not doing this on purpose. I'm going to save too, just in case I fuck up again. Because I have Alzheimer's. Okay. Uh, yeah, so it's Bebe again. And then tomorrow we'll see Horyoji on the bus. Well, no, on the monorail. Sure. And I say, stay here. There we go. Look at us. Wiping through this content faster than you, than you can say, Genki Dene. Alright, so, since I hung out with them, I am going to go to sleep tonight. Nothing to do today. And then tomorrow's the day. So I get Ryoji rank 2. I get my shrine reading. Uh, I think I understand. And then it's, it's school fun. Big points, baby. I'm going to get a fortune persona too, just in case, now that I think about it. Oh, I know the answer now. It's going to be the Ramayana. No, it's the Upanchadas. Yep. I knew it all along. Look at me. Alright. So, wait, what? Where are they now? Oh, it's on Friday. Never mind. Okay. Well, I might as well get it today then. Get a fortune persona for ODOG. Just in case. I don't think I need it, but... Because it's like Shinji, he'll probably auto-level up. Yep, some dog food. So it's Kodomaru's item. Where is... the... Fortune. There it is. Norn. That's my highest level? Okay. Can I add any more Personas? I have this, these stupid low-level ones, right, in my inventory. Hey, look at these pieces of shit out of my inventory. Disappear. Unama Tengu. I guess I might as well see if I need all of these. Justice, strength. I don't need strength anymore, right? I can get rid of Siegfried. Odomaru is maxed. Star. Temperance. I don't need star anymore. Ah, whatever. I might as well. Just in case for Akihiko. Lovers, Emperor. Alright, I have these. Yeah. Alright. Give me fortune. Here we go. A 
That's rather cheap. I'm done. Alright, now he has a, a town to kill today. Do the shrine, and I'll get it for Ken. Friends, someone else. There we go. Hopefully, this means I can rank up with him tonight. I'll save again because, again, memory loss. Right, let's do it. Rank up? Yes, nice. And it's a rank up. Love the air here. It's nice and cool in the morning. And in the afternoon, the sun's bright and it smells like nature. But I especially like it at night. It's quiet. It makes me feel like it can be true to my own feelings. He smiles peacefully. I had some homework a while back. We were supposed to write an essay about our dreams for the future. I couldn't think of anything to write about, though. The teacher got angry and made me stay after class, but I still couldn't come up with anything. I really couldn't think of a single thing I dreamed of. My teacher said that I had to turn it in right then, so I wrote that I wanted to be a soccer player. Because that's what the guy next to me wrote. He nimbly scales the jungle gym. Come up here, Femsi. The sky's a little closer up here. You climbed the jungle gym and sat next to Ken. I figured out why I couldn't say anything about what my dreams for the future are. Probably because I've never thought about myself like that. I didn't care about the future. You made me realize that. You didn't treat me like a kid or take pity on me. You listened to what I had to say. I don't simply wish to become an adult anymore. It all depends on how I become one. Here we go. Holy shit. That's character development right, right there, literally. You can stay by my side and watch over me. I'll be happy. He blushes a little. Feel like it's stronger. I'll be your mom, don't worry. You don't mind. Can we visit the shrine before we head back. I want to pray for everyone's safety. You're all important to me after all. Nice. Good way to end it. Well, I guess we're not done yet. There's one more. The Kyoto trip is almost here. I don't care much about shrines, but I'm still excited about it. Me too. I want to see deer. Get the fuck out of my face with these deers. <gasps> I'm actually brain dead. Why? It's a good thing I saved. But why did I forget about it? Again seems to be happy thanks to a full stomach of dog food. Ooh. He thinks you're hungry. He's looking at you with eyes full of sympathy. He brought some of his own dog food. There we go. I uh, I messed up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Forgot. But it's a good thing that I remembered the day after. Alright, let's give it to you. The label says it's expensive dog food, but... Oh, it's fit for wolves and tigers, too. But this aroma. Giving me a strange sense of nostalgia that I can't explain. Don't tell me. My sister truly forced me to eat... Thank you very much. I have met my request. Please take this. Okay. Thanks, Theo. Alright, good. Everything is well in the world. Let us... Let us return. Oh god. Now Ken will rank up again. There we go. I'm sorry, Ken. Gotta fast forward through this again. Don't worry about it. Rank 9. Now we're all good. I can skip the deer conversation for the third time. So should I? I should probably prioritize Ryoji then in that case. Yeah, let's prioritize Ryoji. Just because I have until January, right, to max him out. So I'll do that. Alright, let's do it. Wow, thanks. He seems happy. Oh, Ryoji kun, are you going home? Ah, Mikako chan. Oh, it's Ryoji. Hey, are you going somewhere? Yoji is suddenly surrounded by a swarm of girls. Sorry ladies, but I've already got plans for today. Maybe next time. What? When's next time gonna be? 
tell you what. I'll make sure I see you in my in your dreams tonight. Aw, I'm not squealing. He charms his way through the throng of female students. Ahaha, <laughs> please. You're all so cute. I can't choose just one of you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I've already just decided on my princess for today. He suddenly takes your hand. The glares you receive from all around are physically painful. What is this? Akihiko 2.0 hangout? Why'd you do that? Should I go? Oh no, a princess needs an escort. He suddenly falls silent. Sorry. I'm not mad. Just that... I'm sorry, I feel like I shouldn't be saying things like this to you. He looks dejected. I want to be more sincere with you. I wonder why. I didn't his grip on your hand. It's funny because hanging out with Horyoji is like hanging out with myself. It's just... Like, he's literally me. God. I'm having a bond with myself right now. It's crazy. The other girls leave, throwing a few dark looks your way. Oh, sorry. I guess San's gonna get angry again if she sees me holding her hand. But I wonder why. Yeah, I guess from like 50 yards away, I sense a disturbance. Ryoji, back away. For some reason, I guess San too. I feel like I know her, and it's on the tip of my brain. I just can't remember it. He looks somewhat sad. You feel as if you're seeing a different, less cheerful side to Ryoji. Less cheerful. Rank 3. Oh, I shouldn't let myself get lost in thought while you're with me. Hey, can you show me around the city? I want to see all the places you like to go to. Cool, and so I showed him to the beefful shop. Junpei doesn't seem like his usual self. I wonder why he's going to see Chidori-san. Maybe her persona went out of control. No. Oh god. Has it? We'll find out. Today's exchange rate. Don't care. It's gotten worse. I get it. No new dialogue. Alright. Nobody to hang out with. So Ken will max out, then I won't have any more night time. By the looks of it. So we are pretty much done with all our night time. Yoji, if he auto ranks up, that's great. Nice. Honestly, at the rate we're going, I should be able to max out everything by the end of the game. I'm pretty confident I'm on a really good pace. Hopefully Mitsudo and I guess don't put a stub in that, but we'll see. I'll stay awake, why not? Get some free points. What's going on? The rooftop. There you are. I've been looking for you. Oh, hello, Takuba. It's rare for you to miss a student council meeting. I take it someone asked you to find me? Well, yeah, even though I'm not a member. Sorry about that. They seem pretty busy with the class trip and all. I bet you have your hands full since it's both for juniors and seniors. Huh, the class trip, huh? Even if I went, I'd only spoil the fun. You're not thinking of skipping the trip, are you? <sighs> you can't do that. <sighs> you know, I've been meaning to talk to you. Is that so? To tell you the truth, you're not the easiest person to relate to. But I know what it's like to lose a father. Takiba. I decided that I should be more upfront with you from now on. Ah, there she is. I've been looking everywhere for you. Ryoji-kun, why are you here? Huh? Didn't you come looking for Mitsuru-san too? It's the same for me. There was this guy who asked me to find her. He said that if I didn't, the class trip might get cancelled. Hideyoshi-kun, he'll hit up anyone in arm's reach for favors. But I'm the lucky one who found you, Mitsuru Kirijo. You're quite stunning, if I may say so. Would you like to go out sometime? I know this one restaurant. It's on the top floor of a three-star hotel. The view at night is almost as breathtaking as you. Uh-huh. Senpai, you better get back to the meeting. I I suppose so. Talk about thank you for your concern. For now, I will attend to my duties. Hey, she left without answering my question. For now, huh? I don't like the sound of that. Um, Yukari-san, how about you? Would you like to join me for dinner? 
I know this place on Shirakawa Boulevard. Wait, Shirakawa Boulevard. That's where the... That's where the, we had the hotel encounter. Ow! Did she step on his toe? No, Ryoji, you get what you... Uh, wonder what I did wrong. She didn't like the location, she didn't like the idea. Mitsudo is gonna be tough. Aw, oh, I can't hang up with you today? Got it. Oh, not like I can hang up with anybody. If Ryoji is gonna monopolize my Tuesday or my Mondays, that pretty much eliminates Akihiko and Yukari from that day. So hopefully he's not on Fridays either, because then I'm screwed. <laughs> Shit. Well, Yukari, I guess I can hold off for a while, but Akihiko being at 9 is kind of pissing me off. Damn it. Oh well. Today's what? Saturday? Yeah, I can't even do anything on Saturday either. I guess I'll just spend this time getting a uh, grind reading then for them. But for sure they rank up. And the 21st isn't... 21st is my next rank up. I'll do... I'll do... Gotti for... Actually... Akiko. Yeah, since Monday is approaching. Means if the OG isn't on Monday, I'll finish Akiko on Monday. Our only priority now is to do something about Tartarus. I will do my best. Well, the school trip is next week, so that should be fun. But unfortunately, Amada and Kodomaru will have to stay here. No pets, no children. I went to see Chidori yesterday. Check this out. Every time she looked at my face, she got pissed. I thought about asking the nurse if something was up. I'm sure the staff don't give a shit. I'm gonna stop visiting her. Better that way. Yeah, I guess. Turn on the TV. Every channel is showing apathy syndrome. I used to live in Kyoto, you know? It's funny how everyone has these stereotypes of that place. Isn't Kyoto known for having the most history in Japan's, like, uh... In, like, Japan's, uh, formation or whatever? I I'm pretty sure it does. Kyoto is, like, a historical... Uh, prefecture. Maybe that's why it's stereotype. Are you excited? I sure am. Well, I hope it will be a memorable one. Unfortunately, I can't go with you guys on the school trip, so please bring me back a souvenir. Oh, and I'd prefer something other than a t-shirt or a keychain. I heard they have really good namayatsu hashi there. Yep, I remember. That's what you want. Okay, did you know? Yukari used to live in Kyoto. No, I didn't know that. No, either until I asked her. She might not be happy that the school trip is in Kyoto. Maybe as he has like uh, extended relatives over there. All right. Well, I can't do anything tonight, so let's just go to sleep. Too early to go to. Early to go to Tartarus once again. All right. Who is it? Yoji. Oh. Uh. Damn. But this might be like a limited thing too. Because it's like I could do Ak you know what? Fuck it. Because on Sundays we're just gonna be doing Akinadi anyways. So he's he's gonna max out eventually. It's just gonna take plus one week because I'm, yeah, I want to see this because I didn't expect Ryoji of all people to invite me out. I'm not tied up this time. Let's do it. Even though I don't need the points, I'm pretty sure you auto rank up. That's great. Just thinking about seeing you makes me happy. I'll head over immediately. Wow, I'm actually doing This place is interesting. Because I'm here with you. Ah, I knew what I was <laughs> you knew what I was gonna say. Laughs happily. You know all these people around us. I bet they're all couples. Now that he mentions it, you see romantic couples everywhere in the cafe. Being lovers mean that there's no one else in the world that you care more about, right? That'd be wonderful if it were really true. It'll happen to you someday. I think it really happens. I see. He laughs amiably. You know, sometimes I think I would still like you no matter if you were a guy or a girl. I mean... The thing is, is like, you can be like, you buy 
but at the same time it like it makes sense right because pharaoh said that too that no matter no matter if we were the male uh, mc or the or the fem c he still views us as, as an important friend very interesting the telling why would yeah what do you mean that's such an odd thing to say he smiles gently positive that i've known you before when i'm with you i just got this feeling that i'll find out how i know you and we'll become closer but for some reason that makes me want to cry I've never cried before it seems sad you feel like you've come a come to understand Horyoji a little more. Have I? Have I really? You haven't even drank coffee yet. I want to spend time with you alone like this. I'm not bothering you, but it'd be alright if I asked you out again. I'd be totally up for it. I see. I'm happy to hear that. Oh, that reminds me. That school trip's coming up soon, right? Let's find- wait. Wait a minute, what? I- I- I ranked up. What? Wait, this was supposed to be an optional... Wait, I just realized. I ranked up, but this was supposed to be an optional hangout. Like, where they call me and are like, Hey, you want to hang out? What? Why is your social link so weird? First, you, you like, ambush me on the monorail. And then... I'm like, okay, sure, we'll hang out. And now rank up in an optional hangout okay this is a bit strange so I, maybe I have to hang out with them every opportunity that presents itself I'm gonna do that then that's weird I was not expecting that let's find some time to go somewhere together while we're there yeah I'm really looking forward to it he laughs happily okay interesting the OG is leveling up Welcome back. in quite a unique manner not that I'm complaining, but I'm glad I took that hangout now, because then I would have missed it. Or maybe he would have kept calling me, like, Femsy, you want to hang out? No. Femsy, you want to hang out? Are you sure? I won't rank up. <laughs> Alright. Mitsudu, are you excited about the trip? I sure am. Why are you dressed differently now? No one wants to hang out. Can't max out Ken, then. Episode 39. Roll the dice. Save the world with a nat 20. The thief who targeted apathy syndrome victims was caught yesterday. Yeah, that's a low blow. A thief that targets zombies. You can call him the Phantom... The Phantom X, or whatever. I saw the new Persona... Persona 5 gacha game or whatever? Looks alright. I wouldn't play it, but... Looks alright. Oh, I missed my Tanaka. Oh well, whatever cares about Tanaka, right? Over here, another convo. Tomorrow's the school trip. Have you packed your things? Of course. Yukata, bathing suit, flashlight, snacks, and my checkerboard. You don't travel light, do you? First bell is rung. I also brought my portable PC. Ahem. Tomorrow you leave on your field trip. Ah, Kyoto. Home of my heart. Some teachers believe you should visit foreign countries, but I steadfastly oppose them each year. It's shameful the way we've lost our passion for our homeland. Why don't we spend some time today learning of our nation's innate beauty? I'm sure your teachers haven't covered that subject. You all know that our national flower is the cherry blossom, right? However, in the days of the Man Yoshu, if you were to ask someone, they would tell you it was the plum. I feel tired. A plum? Talk about a plum? Anyways, one day my neighbor invited me to her house. She fed me gruel. I'll never forget the taste. I tried to give her something in return, but she never accepted my gratitude. Humility is the true Japanese way. By contrast, children today are nothing but... pieces of... the future. Now isn't that wonderful? Because they make it. Well, tomorrow's the day. Lately, it seems like everything we talk about is so depressing. Uh, why don't we have some fun? Come on, what do you say? Yeah, that's the spirit. Way to take charge, Lita. The school trip starts tomorrow. I'm so excited, I can't stand it. Me either. Most of the people I meet seem nervous. Are you nervous, Femsi? Of course. That's good. You're just like everyone else then, that's right. I am a statistic. Um, okay. 
Why did I say that like a robot? I am a statistic. Please. Yes! <laughs> yes! He's available. Oh my god. Fucking finally. Alright, good. Akihiko ends today. Um, then I can focus on Yukari. I don't even know if Ryoji will rank up like conventionally anymore. Maybe he'll just ambush me from now on. And I'll be like, okay, I'll hang out with you. Why not, pretty boy? Um, yeah, and then we'll have Yukari and Takeba to basically manage when we return from Kyoto. Cool. Let's do it. Alright, come on. Let's do it. Let's go. Well, let's eat. You and Nakihiko chatted over steaming bowls of ramen. What? Get the fuck out of my face. I don't ever want to see you again. Don't you ever show your- Except, dude. Tomorrow's a school trip, dude. I'm so psyched. Kinda sucks that we're only going to Kyoto, though. Hey, Junpei-san seems to have his energy back. I guess there was no reason to worry about him. Huh? What are you talking about? I'm always energetic. By the way, you better behave while we're gone. Don't go throwing any parties, got it? I won't. Oh, and please bring... <laughs> Calls up his friends who called me a hag. Oh, and please don't worry about bringing me back a souvenir. Hey, are you trying to use reverse psychosis on me or something? No, of course not. It's just that Kyoto has a lot of great tasting snacks. So bring me that instead. Not a souvenir, it's a snack. Hi, I'm Trish with today's installment of Who's Who. Today's subject has blue hair, strange makeup, a guitar case, and an odd way of walking. Hatsune Miku? <laughs> uh, he's both a su- oh, it's a, it's a he, never mind. He's both a sushi chef and a band leader. Today's his birthday. Next is... Same old... It's poor news. In this world, there are things you just can't change, so it's better to focus on things you can. Got that, bro? Like the school trip. Alright. Okay. Um, anything else from the crew? Wait, what did you say? I wasn't interested in this trip at first, but I get more excited about it as I get closer. Maybe it's because I'm going with you. Oh, um, I don't mean... Well, that is just... What am I saying? Sorry, don't worry about that. Ooh, interesting dialogue because I romanced him. Okay, cool. What do you want to go out? Why do you want to go out now and spend all this time with me after I maxed you out? You, you, you know what you're doing, that's why. Alright, well, before I go to Kyoto, I finished ranking up with, uh... Jin. Did I? Well, I was going to finish ranking up with Akihiko, but I guess not now. God damn. Why? I even told you that I'd be your girlfriend and you won't. What a... What a guy. Can I break up with, can I break up with them? At least a trip will give us a chance to clear our heads. But that won't make things easier. But a school trip is a rare event. It would be a shame to miss it. Yeah, I guess. What about you, Fuka? You know it's gonna be hard. We should all try to be happy. The school trip won't be any fun if everyone's sad. I wanna look back on this trip with fond memories. I understand how you feel. And I guess? I understand how important a school trip is for everyone, but I don't think it will help us decide what to do. It's just a chance to relax for a while. And that's not necessarily true, I guess. I wonder when the answer will become clear. Okay, we got the depressed trio over here, and Fuka trying her best to, uh... Fuka's trying her best to remedy everything. Alright, well, I am going to quickly check out the town. If there's any world changes. Because when I get back from Kyoto, it will be time to get my... How many days is it before the next dark? Oh, the, the moon? 1121, right. And it's due... Okay, it's not due to until December, I see. I still got a lot of time for that one. Every day is more of the same betrayal. What if I'm gonna have that same dream again? Okay, nothing new for you. You don't have any more items for me. Chairman fell from the observatory while stargazing, right? Oh, this is new dialogue, I didn't know. So Ikutsi canonically died from falling to his death from the observatory. Doesn't something about that picture strike you as odd? 
What do you think? I think it's true. He likes stars, and now he became one. I just don't get it. <laughs> Oddly morbid. It does sound fishy. If it's a lie, it must be to cover something up. That's crazy. Just like a movie. Yep. yep. Went out the uh went out to eat the other day, but I forgot to check my fortune beforehand. But I couldn't decide what to order. I started to sweat. Good thing they had a magazine with a fortune telling column. That stuff about not being able to order food without her fortune. It's just kidding, right? Oh my god, that's not good. It isn't. Alright. This a new friend? How mystifying. No one can see into his essence. No one save for one girl. Farewell then. May your future be bright. And that one girl is I guess. Or me. Probably I guess though. Alright. Well then. I'm going to rest up. Before we head to Kyoto. If you're wondering why I uh, stalled so much. It's because I just wanted to see if there's any world changes before... We head out for a couple days because that's one, two, three, four. So it's until the 21st. So, so the moment I get back, I need to get my item from Ken. It'll be an exchange because I'll have his gift. Okay, cool. Let us enjoy Kyoto. 